Now that we just saw a glimpse of the musical theater Candades. This musical show Candades will amaze the audience in Jakarta this weekend for the second time with the same story last March. People fond of theater have been waiting for this performance which features beautiful songs. The actress who plays Candades, Ken Samsara Ajisiswi is here as well as the producer of the musical from EKI Dance Company, Igusti Ngurah Aji Wija Nanda or Mas Adi, welcome. And they both will share about the preparations of the show. Thank you so much for being here on Starting Point. It's good to have you both here. First of all, I will go to Ara. Mm -hmm. Perhaps for our audience who does not know about Candades, can you give us a brief story about what this story about Candades is about? Uh, hmm. thank you. First of all, thank you so much for having us here. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Candades is about a woman who was kidnapped by mm -hmm. an evil king, let's say. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was kidnapped by an evil king, and uh, he made her, he made her his wife. So this evil king uh, does nothing all day except like getting drunk and mm. and you know sounds terrible. Sounds, sounds terrible. terrible. So but it's, it's actually our friend, our our co-host, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Co-anchor uh, co here, Mas Uli. Mas Uli. Mas Uli. Mas Uli. Mas Uli. Mas Uli. Evil king. The evil so, king. <laughs> so, yeah, so he gets drunk every day, and mm. one day at a party. Uh, she met Ken Arok, mm. who who was a, like who can be like a great commander. Mm. So so she fell in love with Ken Arok, and they they planned they pl they they formed a plan to make like a better kingdom. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So they together they overthrew the king. Yeah, and. Yeah, and Ken Arok became the next king. So, so this is like a love story with yeah, an ambition behind yeah, it. Yeah, an ambition behind <laughs> it. It's, exactly. It's like a, it's like a Indonesian Romeo and Juliet. Mm. Yeah, right? Almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> true. Okay. True. Yeah. True. And as as I mentioned, like I personally really love the story of Candades and mm -hmm. historically, and. I know Candides is a, a very strong yeah, woman. Yeah, very strong woman. And how do you? Um, what's your struggle and your challenge to play the role of Candides? It's like a very big role, right? It's mm. a very big role, and like they made a statue of her because of her beauty and yeah. her elegance, mm -hmm. and like I never thought of myself as like, as like such a great beauty. So that was a great struggle. But I think um, what made it easier for me is um, to humanize Candides, that mm. to remember that she was also human that can make mistakes, that have insecurities and everything. So. Um, trying to research and study and studying together with my acting coach also helps a lot. Mm. Mm. Was this your first time playing a big role? Can you share us about your experience in theater? My experience in theater. Uh, How did you start? And um, I, I started when I was uh, uh, when I was a kid, really. When How I was old? three. How uh, three. three? My parents old. used to just hold me uh, in, in the in the backstage and just uh -huh. like wow. let go of me and I, and I run. <laughs> <laughs> you That's ran towards my, the stage? I ran towards the stage oh. and, and then my other parent would catch me on the oh, other nice. side of the stage. Okay, okay yeah. that's sweet. So <laughs> I started when I was a kid but before this I uh, yeah, used to like I, I was Chalonarang once in Chalonarang mm, mm. and also Purbararang in Lutung Kasarung. Nice, yeah. yes. So, so you've had plenty of experiences yeah. before. Yeah, in mm. theater and before. And practically born in, in the, on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She grew up on the stage. How did you feel when you first get this role? Was this something that you were really uh, going after for or are there other roles that you were auditioning for before? No, uh, this was something that is really big. I think I've never gotten the, a role this big before, mm. Candides, you know. Uh, it's such a complex role, such a complicated role, so I'm really going after this role and I'm so grateful that I got this role. Mm. <laughs> okay, and <laughs> it's like the legend of Candides is often about her beauty and power, as you said before. And um, even the people in Indonesia, mm -mm. Uh, they know Candides as one of the most beautiful icon yeah. uh, for Indonesian women, and it it's such themes influ influence you portrayal of the character. Yeah. Um, do you feel the burden of it as well? Or yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so so much burden playing Candides, but I, I'm thankfully I got to share the stage with my fellow actors mm -hmm. who are who who we we're mm -hmm. helping each other and also. This story is about the battle between Ken Dedes and Ken Arok's first wife, which is mm. Ken Umang. 
Yeah. Like Candidus is, uh, we will portray Candidus as an ambitious woman, and Ken Umang is, uh, her ambition is to be a good housewife. Oh. And that's like uh, what Candidus uh, doesn't agree with her. Whoa, this is Can getting really complicated and yeah, deep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Candidus wants to be a queen who also commands, who also rules, who mm. he, she wants to be a leader, and Ken Umang wants wants to be just a normal housewife and that's mm. so it's like a bit of a housewife versus feminist um, yeah, yeah, the, the yeah, movement going, yeah, going movement. on <laughs> and we saw the clips right yeah. it, it it's so uh, magical it's so magnific magnificent yeah. is it also why uh, Chiputra Art Printer wants to do a rerun of this um, uh, musical perhaps you can share with us yeah. what was the response from the March play the oh. beginning wow. hmm. Well, first of all, well, the response was very enthusiastic, mm -hmm. as uh, was evidenced by the 4,000 people that turned up mm. in March. And of course, the scale of the scale of the show, the quality of it, was one of the reasons why we do the rerun. But part of it was because at Chibutra Open, as a venue, as a th as the first international standard theatre in Jakarta, we mm. wanted to bring this kind of content to the public because. It's not every day you see a content that's exactly. yeah, yeah. Uh, on I the agree. scale as grand as Candidus, mm -hmm. which is already on the on a Broadway level, we should say. Yeah, yeah. That is so entertaining and so fun to watch, but also very rich in history and culture. Mm -hmm. It's not every day you find this kind of content in one show. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's and it fits very in line with the vision of Chipotle Artpreneur, which is to provide the Indonesian audiences with quality contents which they cannot usually find in Indonesia, which they usually have to go abroad to mm. look for, right? Like have to go yeah. to Singapore, have to go to the US, yes. Yes. go to the UK to watch. But now you have it here mm -hmm. and it's about us. It's a story about Indonesia. I totally presented. agree with that yeah. because we are lacking of this um, national content, our Indonesian-owned yeah, content. Exactly. I mean, we watch all these international shows at Ciputra Artpreneur, but yeah. we don't watch enough of our own uh, content there. But it's great that you mm -hmm. have produced the show. Yeah. Mas Adi, can you please share with us uh, what is the creative process behind making Candidates? What are the challenges that you've been through um, to make it as successful as it is? Uh, for the creative process, I think I have to turn up with Ara as well. <laughs> she gets, she's been more involved in it. <laughs> I just well, help her in the business side. Mm, yeah. okay. <laughs> well, the creative process, of course, includes uh, research, uh, reading all the books, uh, and also asking a lot of uh, people about it and but first of all why we wanted to make uh, Candidates because it's the first uh, production that Eki made which is 25 years ago mm -hmm. and 25 years later uh, Rusdi Rukmarata the choreographer and the director wanted to make it again with uh, now it's uh, with a grand grander musical version of it no okay so it, it is such a uh, it has to be a good collaboration between the creative and and also the stage, how the venue can provide, right? Uh, all the lighting and the sound mm. to make it um, like, as grand yeah, as it as is. As grand as yeah. it is, as, as, as mm. you can deliver how the creative process um, to be finally, to be put on the stage, mm. right? And how do you do that? Well, as a well, chief of we just basically make sure that the creative team at Eki mm -hmm. Dance Company get all they needed. Okay. So they can focus entirely on the production process. So we take over some of the, well, some of the heavy lifting, <laughs> especially how, well, how to mm. promote the shows. Yeah. So we take that duty. We, take, we handle all the ticketings. We help them do all this little, well, all these detailed things so mm -hmm. they can just focus on creating candidates to be the best as possible. Mm. So we help them on, in, and of course we help them provide all the technical support yep. that they needed. So to make sure that everything goes smoothly, they don't need to worry about you know the technical details. They just need to worry, like Ara just needs to worry about her performances. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to worry about the mic, being, <laughs> you know, whether the mic has enough yeah, battery, yeah. whether the lighting will be just right. No, no, no. She doesn't need to worry about that. Mm. And this goes to all the creative, all the creative team at Eki. They mm. just need to focus on their performances. Um, as the producer of the Chiputra Artpreneur, can you tell us what are the uh, pluses, like the benefits of having this show being uh, produced and aired at uh, Chiputra Artpreneur? Well, as uh, again, we are mm -hmm. a venue. Yes. Mm -hmm. We do not actually have our own content. Mm -hmm. And of course, this kind of collaboration fits in line with our vision, which is to become a platform or a mm -hmm. place 
for Indonesian artists to showcase their works to a wider to a wider range of public at an international standard theatre. Mm. Yeah. We want to give them we want to give the artists and the audience a very comfortable experience, mm -hmm. whether it's in performing or you know just watching the show. So we want to give them essentially the Broadway experience of both witnessing a show and performing mm. in theatre. Yeah, but how about like the promotion? Like even um, for us, the um, the uh, Jakartans, mm -hmm. um, it's like of the information that we do have contents like that. We mm. do have performances like that at Chiputra Entrepreneur. And how do you um, market it wider to get a wider audience to watch um, mm. Candidates um, in this uh, particular? Mm. Exactly. I yeah. mean, it's actually a very common struggle here mm -hmm. living yeah. in Jakarta. There's so much noise about what is happening that sometimes we missed out on mm. important um, mm. shows like this, very interesting and very successful show like this. Mm. Well, well, our strategy has been to blend mm. traditional and digital okay. marketing strategies. So, of course, we have the traditional ones. We have our posters, we have our billboards and whatever. Mm. And we also do very intensive digital marketing so we use all the digital marketing tools we use especially social media of course mm -hmm. because that's where <laughs> things are happening these yeah. days right and mm -hmm. of course, so essentially that's what we do we do intense digital marketing through social media and we still utilize traditional marketing where we put like posters all over the place mm. and you know utilizing assistance from the media mm -hmm. yeah yeah, I see oh. all the posters like everywhere on the streets. That means you're the right target market. Yeah, for I'm the right show. target market. <laughs> but, and for the um, um, social media, maybe you are targeting for more a younger audience yes. as, well, as well. Especially because Candidates is like a history. Modern um, version. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but maybe like children now that, nowadays, if, mm. if we ask our uh, children, they don't know about the history of Candidates. They don't know the story yeah. of Candidates. Mm. So do you think that um, it is like fit to to, to the younger yeah, audience to ask yeah. like mm -hmm. is it like um, also children friendly to watch the musical and is it also you know, part of your target market? Yeah, mm. yeah. I think the story itself is universal. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much everyone from you know children to our grandmas and grandpas can watch it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially when Eki has you know presented in such a modern way with mm. modern music so you don't you you shouldn't expect a gamelan music yeah. in the show mm. instead the music is a blend of pop jazz uh, there's tango and tango, everything. Ah. everything is very modern yeah. yeah and the humor and the dialogue it's very contemporary and the humor is the humor of today mm. so you won't get like preferences to like things from yesteryear you get yeah, yeah. preferences to things that are popular today so it's relatable and it's PG rating yeah. for yeah. everyone. Yeah. Okay, for everyone. Okay. Yeah. It's for everyone. It's for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so back to Ara. Oh. Like, um, how do you, how long um, uh, did you, did it take for you to practice to finally be in the role? Hmm. Or after that, after the March performance, um, were you still on, in the character of Candidates? <laughs> 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 well. The rehearsal process, if you look from the first project that we did, mm. was like only a music video. It was two years that uh, it's been two years, uh, the process of getting into Candidates. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That long? That, that long. Oh. But after the March show, I think I kind of just lost myself. And I just like, okay, get Candidates off of me. <laughs> and then we're going to do the rerun. And yeah. I find it like kind of hard to get it back, back in. Oh. Yeah. But uh, with, with intensive, like, I think uh, in the September show, the mm -hmm. process is way more intensive than the March, the March show okay. to get into the character. Well, it took a lot of stress and struggle. Mm. <laughs> but I, I think I finally, like, I'm slowly getting it back, Candidates. Yeah, okay, yes. I understand you. But what's the difference? Like, um, you mentioned, right, mm. it's different, it's more intense, but how different it is? Mm. Uh, so my friend just told me yesterday, the March show is difficult on the physical body, ah, okay. mm -hmm. right? Because uh, you have to learn the choreography, you have to learn everything. But uh, in the rerun, it's difficult on, on your in yeah, mental on your mind and also on your mental. Mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because there's this like you've succeeded in doing this before, so you're not taking it as seriously. Mm. There's 
their sphere of like of that of and slacking a bit like yeah. not, not not making that first expectation yeah, yeah, yeah. again yeah. yeah and people already have expectations of you because uh, if people are going to watch it twice mm-hmm. so i think it's kind of hard to discipline your mm. brain and your mind to so Ara, what is your plan then how do you <laughs> go over that first expectation yeah. so my plan <laughs> or- originally was to actually to just like beat myself up like oh mm. i have to be serious i have to be this 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 but and then i was too tense and i can't do it so it just uh my plan is just to relax to enjoy the stage and enjoy the audience mm. because you i know all of the choreography i know all of the lines i know all of the songs so i will not forget my lines on stage because if you're uh, acting on stage like if you think that you're acting you're not actually acting so yeah. you, i just have to be candid as relax and be candid be the character be yeah. the character can can you can you give us a um, a sneak peek then a <laughs> 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 uh, sneak peek of what dialogue dialogue sure. or like yeah um your character as so we Kandedi. don't want Anna now we want Kandedi yeah we want Kandedi starting point oh, okay. give us like a short one sentence yeah. a two short, sentence short short one sentence hmm. uh, jangan biarkan siapapun merampas kuasa di tanganmu Wow! Oh, I got. I just got goosebumps. Me too. Oh, I think it's like, why do you stop? <laughs> <laughs> Give <Yeah>. us more. <laughs> She stopped because we have to buy the ticket. We have yeah, to buy the ticket. <laughs> we have to buy the ticket. So mm-hmm. now back to uh, Mas Adi. Um, mm. So, what's the mission for for this? The mission for Canada. Yeah. Mm. Well, of course, the mission is to give you a good show this weekend, mm. for one. But of course, again, it's to educate the public. about our history, our culture through a very entertaining show mm. and to prove that Indonesian artists we can do this kind of show. Mm. We don't have to wait for you know some foreigners from Broadway to bring the shows here. We can make our own Broadway. Mm. So that's essentially our mission. We want Indeed, to. Yeah. Um, in your personal opinion Mas mm. Adi, I mean you've obviously watch other Broadway musicals yeah. before. How is our Canada show compared to all these international Broadway shows hmm. that has been showed or showcased? Yeah, if you could say. Yeah. Mm. In my personal opinion, mm-hmm. exactly at the same level. Oh, oh okay. Well, that's great. So you are also hoping, um, you're saying that you're also hoping that um, uh, Art, Chipotle Opera could be the bridge Um, to showcase this kind of musical, this high quality musical candidates to maybe um, to be picked by international uh, mm. events as well. Of course, we are hoping that because again, the mission is of course to elevate the Indonesian artists and bring them into the international stage as well. Mm. We don't want to just stay at home, right? We yeah. have to go out there and prove to the world that Indonesia can do this. Hmm. Oh, okay. Good luck, Ara. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so we're, much. we're counting on you. So yeah, the musical show Candidates got many enthusiasm of spectators last March as we just um, had that discussion. Mm-hmm. And it will be back to stage this weekend to have even more public attention. Ciputra Artpreneur and Eki Dance Company will again collaborate to feature Candedes, a musical performance which gives a new color to the opera industry in Indonesia. The show last March received a great welcome from the public due to the music featured in the performance. Mu- fans of the play can also find the music in several platforms such as YouTube, Spotify and other internet sites. Wow, it's great just looking at that. Um, just a simple performance right there on the stage and then seeing the video before where they bring the lighting and the costume and mm. everything come to life. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ara, perhaps you can share with us what has been the challenges to get into the Candidate's character? Wow, there's mm. so many challenges. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're young, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're fit, and you're a woman. Like, how was it to get into that character? Uh, it's hard because um, Candidates uh, start off as like the queen. Mm. Like, no, nobody can stop her. And things happen in, in the musical, which you're, you're going to watch, that will make her actually break down. And to do four shows when you, you're like, 
here and there, here and there, here and there, you feel like you're being smacked down four times. So mm. I think that, that that's like the challenge to actually from being here below and go back up again to do the next show. I think that's mm. like one of is the greatest challenges. Is it more like a physical strain or is mm. it more, no, more like the an choreography, emotional, emotional oh, strain? Oh yeah, true, true, true. Because mm. yeah. you have to do it over and over, over, over again. Yeah. Huh. And you cannot... You can um, slow down um, no, yeah. in, in um, one performance to another, especially yeah. the finale, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah. Aisha can relate. Yeah, I, I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> and with the goosebumps and everything, and mm. even though you're tired and you have to no, do the uh. same choreography and the songs and the dances, mm. and also it's, it's from, um, it's a Japanese um, story, right? Yeah. Do you do you have any problem with with the learning the language and how how you relate to the original story? Actually, no. We're gonna uh, we're doing bahasa language mm -hmm. like uh, bahasa Indonesia. No, I think it relates to us Indonesian people, mm. not only the story itself, and all Indonesian people, not on, not just Javanese mm -hmm. culture. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. so. I don't have trouble doing that. No, oh, okay, that's great. Mm. Now, yeah. Mas Adi, perhaps for our uh, younger audience, we have mentioned before that there's actually a little generation gap we're mm -hmm. seeing here because we have all these young performers uh, playing for Candides. Then again, the audience may not know what Candides <laughs> is. <laughs> um, how do you bridge this um, gap right here so that even the younger audience will get exposed to what Candides is about and would want to watch the show? Hmm. Again, uh, we are promoting this uh, on social media where the younger audiences are mm. and of course we give them a taste, a glimpse mm. of, what, of what the show is. So essentially we want, we're just telling them, do not worry, you're not in for some boring traditional show, you're in for some modern, fun, filled with, you know, pop, you know, filled with modern music, modern humor, so you don't need to worry about this. Mm. You don't have to know about the history of Candidates. You don't need mm. to be well versed in history to watch the show. You can simply come in, have a good time, and learn about Candidates. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, as simple as like, this is a good play that you have to watch, come in, mm. and then you will know the story later. As same as um, that this story itself is not globally known. So after that, maybe it's from like a um, mouth to mouth uh, mm -hmm. promotion mm -hmm. and then um, it will be known globally. So it's another um, challenge that you will mm. have to face. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I'm asking, is there any like strategy, <laughs> marketing gimmick to pull all this younger audience to come to Chiputra Art Printer? Mm -hmm. Well, of course we do have. Mm. We do have like some social media challenges. Yeah. Yeah. We do like, I don't, what, was, what was it we done? We uh, do a challenge. Do a challenge. Yeah. A do we a do, challenge. A do a challenge. And of course, the way that the album is already out on the streaming yep. platforms, everyone can enjoy it. Mm. Everyone can listen to the music. And then this weekend, they can finally hear the music being performed live on stage by Ara. Right. <laughs> right. So uh, this is the second time. This is a rerun. So after this um, performance this weekend, and hopefully that it will be um, like um, recognized by a more uh, wider mm. audience mm -hmm. um, domestically and also globally mm -hmm. yeah. and hopefully right <laughs> ara can go um, abroad and oh, really? international yeah. for candidates mm. and do you plan as as the venue the chipotra entrepreneur do you plan to do um, to support um, candidates musical um, for uh, the the next journey of it after after this well of course yeah of course well of course we plan to support Candidates all the way <laughs> <laughs> Ara what's your hope for your final stage yeah. coming up this weekend <laughs> how do you feel about it I just hope that uh, me and the 4,000 audiences can enjoy the, our time together and like, let's fly together. Aww, <laughs> fly nice. together. Yeah. So people who would want to get the tickets, how do we get it? Mas Adi, is there any more seats left at the moment for this weekend? Very few, but Ooh, there are still few. some left. Mm. So you can just go to locket.com mm -hmm. and search for Candidates mm -hmm. and just click on that button and, you know, get your tickets. Okay. Yeah, all right. as simple as that. So, uh, <laughs> ticket war. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, don't, ticket war. we don't need to do um, ticket war, right? 
No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Make it to be quick. So, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and your stories here on Starting Point. It's great to hear all this coming from the actress and also mm -hmm. from the producer to see what's going on at Candidates. I'm hyped up for it, actually. Yes. Especially after that teaser. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll be on the front row, hopefully. And um, cheer you mm -hmm. while you're doing your candidates, and I'm I'm so um, excited and looking forward for your performance. And Mas Adi also good luck for everything, and hope everything runs smooth for the rerun of candidates and get thousands of happy audience. Oh, amen. Oh, <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. So stick around on Starting Point. We'll be back with more updates. Stay tuned on Starting Point.